Hi guys, time for a makeup inventory check-in video. This is my third quarterly check-in video of the year. I will be doing one more, which will be an end of year check-in to see if I have hit all of my goals that I set myself. Now I love makeup inventory videos. I think they're probably one of my favorite videos to watch here on YouTube. I'm just quite nosy. So I really like to see all of the makeup that everybody else owns, see how it compares to mine, see if people have say way more eyeshadow palettes, if that's the, the category of makeup that they love to have a lot of, or if they love having loads of lipsticks or if they love having loads of concealers. I just really like to see what other people's sort of makeup collections look like and the categories that they like to have lots of or not so much of. So I will talk you through each individual category of my makeup inventory, tell you what the numbers are and how that compares to my previous check-in and my goal for the end of the year. Also, I am working with natural lighting today, so the sun keeps coming in and out. So if the color of this video changes, sorry, but it was really beautiful and sunny when I sat down to film. Now, not so much, but we're gonna work with it. Okay, so we'll get into it then. I have my laptop here with my color-coded spreadsheet of all my categories and how it's looked throughout the year. So if we start off with primer then, now at the beginning of the year I had three primers and my goal for the end of the year was three primers. I'm now down to one and that is the Bobbi Brown face base. So I do have room to go up to three, however I'm on a replacement only no buy for this year. So I will wait until my Bobbi Brown face base has been used up and then if I want to, I will buy another primer. Now, the goal of having three, I'm not fussed about going back up to three. I don't particularly like primers. I don't really feel like they do a lot. I feel like if I moisturize my face well enough, that kind of does a good job. So in the future, I don't think primers need to be as high as three, but I think I put it at three so I can have a few different ones to dip in and out of. I can have, say, a brightening one or a hydrating one. But for now, I'm happy just having the one. And the Bobbi Brown Face Base is probably my favourite primer that I have tried. Now, I don't love it. I don't think it's amazing, but it does a pretty good job. But it is pricey, so I don't know whether I would repurchase it or not. But yes, for now, I'm at one primer, so I have exceeded my goal. Moving on to foundations then, I started off the year on 14, which is a lot of foundations, in my opinion, considering that they were all open as well, and most of them were liquid. So that was a little bit of a, a ticking clock, a case of, right, these are all open, they're going to start to degrade, so let's get them used up. And my goal for the year was nine, and I am now down to nine. I finished off my It Cosmetics CC Cream, so I was at 10 on my previous check-in. I've used up the It Cosmetics CC Cream, so I'm down to nine. I have reached my goal, which I am super happy with. And I feel like by the end of the year, I will definitely be at eight, maybe seven. I'm working on panning the Abore and BB Cream. That will definitely be used up by the end of the year. But whether I would have used up the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light, which is what I will replace the Boring BB Cream with, whether I will use that one up by the end of the year, not sure. I've got two and a half months to do so. But I've reached my goal with foundation as well, which is excellent. Concealers, I started off the year with nine, and four of those were Tarte Shape Tapes three of which were unopened, they were backups in all the same shade in my collection. So I did set my goal at eight. However, I sold those and I decluttered a concealer. So I'm now down to five. So I have surpassed that goal by quite a few. So that is really, really good. And I'm hoping to be done with the Tarte Shape Tape by the end of the year. So maybe I'll even be down to four, who knows. But like with my foundation category, all of those concealers, apart from the three backup Tarte Shape Tapes, all of my concealers are open, so I need to get them used up. I need to be finishing them up before they start to go off. And they were all pretty full at the start of this year, so that is why panning my Tarte Shape Tape has taken so long. But I'm getting there. There's not as much product in it now. Moving on to colour corrector. At the start of the year, I had one. I decluttered it and replaced it with the Bobbi Brown colour corrector, and I still have one, and my goal is to have one. So that category is fine. I don't feel like I need more than one colour corrector, so I'm happy for that to kind of stay the same into next year as well, probably. Powder, I have two, and that has stayed the same throughout the entire year. It is my Fenty Invisiblock Matting Powder, something along those lines, a press powder, basically and then the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. I've had both of those powders for the whole year. So I started off the year on two. My goal is to have two, and I still have two, so that's another category that I have reached. 
Next category is bronzer. Now, my goal for the year was to have one, and I started off the year on one. I decluttered that one and replaced it with two Fenty bronzers, a cream one and a powder one. So although I am over my goal at two, and my goal was one, I'm not fussed about that because I like having the versatility of having two bronzers. Depending on the look that I'm going for, depending on whether I'm focusing more on say cream products or powder products, and they are both slightly different in shades as well. So I like having two. I'm not going to reach the goal by the end of the year. I'm not going to end up using one or both of the bronzers, but I'm happy with having more bronzers in this category. I feel like one was probably a little bit too strict. Next category is contour. I used up a contour earlier on in the year. I can't remember what month now, but it was my NYX contour in taupe and I've chosen not to replace it. I'm not really a contour person. I like much more of a softer kind of cheek area. I feel like that suits me a lot better rather than, you know, the, the harsh contour line. So I haven't replaced it, but because I have none, I am allowed to buy another contour. Don't really see it happening this year. So my goal for the year is one, but I'm now at zero. Blusher, I started off the year on three and I wanted to get down to two by the end of the year and I am now at two. I decluttered my sleek rose gold blusher. I just, I, I didn't like how it looked. It was far too glittery. The color was slightly off for my complexion as well. So I now have two, which are my Trini lip to cheek in the shade Vivi, which is in my project pan and Milani Luminoso. Next, moving on to highlighter. At the start of the year, I have three. I did break my no buy in March, April, round about that check-in. I did buy a Becca Champagne Pop highlighter because they were going out of business. They still are, but I think you can still get their under eye corrector and their highlighters, I think. So I didn't, in hindsight, need to buy it because it, they're still available, but I didn't know that back then. So I went up to four. I then went down to three because I think I used up, yes, I used up my Pure Afterglow highlighter that was in my project pan. And I'm now down to two because I decluttered my e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls highlighter and my goal for the year is one. Now I'm not a massive highlighter fan which is why my goal is one and I do actually have highlighters in palettes so I do still have lots of other highlighters to be working on. Now I do have my number seven highlighting drops in my project pan which I really am hoping to be done with by the end of the year so I should be able to meet my goal of one but not quite there yet. Okay, face palettes. Started off the year on three and my end of year goal was three. I am, however, down to one. I decluttered my Bare Minerals palette all months ago now. And I also decluttered my Elf St. Lucia duo. And I did that after my last check-in video. So in my last check-in video, I was at two and I'm now down to one, which is my Patricia Bright palette with Revolution. Now I do quite like that palette. That's probably gonna be my project pan next year. So I will hopefully have used that one up by the end of next year. But for now, I'm on one and my goal was three. So I have surpassed that goal as well. Face and eye palettes is another goal that I have surpassed. I have more than met that goal. I started off the year on eight and I wanted to get down to six. I'm now down to four. Throughout the year, I have been working through my face and eye palettes and I decluttered three, I think. Yes, three of the Estee Lauder ones. And also I have decluttered one of the Laura Geller ones as well. So in the last check-in, I was at six and I'm now down to four, thanks to a couple of those declutters. So my goal was six and I'm now at four. So that is very, very good. And with the four face and eye palettes that are still in my collection, I don't think I'm gonna be getting rid of any of those anytime soon. I do like all four of them. Eyeshadow primers, my goal is to get down to one. I'm currently on two, but I am panning one of them, which is my NYX eyeshadow base. And it's just because I feel like I don't need more than one eyeshadow primer, one is enough. If I can find a good one that does the job, I personally don't feel the need to have more than one. So my goal is one, and I'm hoping to have used up that NYX one by the end of the year. So I've not met that goal yet, but I will do soon. And I did start off the year on a three. I'm going to bring my laptop more underneath my camera because I feel like I'm doing a lot of that. Now, glitter eyeshadow primer. This was a new category. I had none of these at the start of the year. And by my half year check-in, I had bought one and that was thanks to Sarah Rose. She raves about the NYX glitter primer and I thought, you know what, I could probably do with this to help me wear some of my shimmery shades in my collection. 
and it's brilliant such a good product it makes those shimmer shades really pop be more bold be more vibrant so i'm very glad that i have added that into my collection and i do use that most times now when i wear a shimmery shade so i had none at the beginning of the year and i set myself a goal halfway through the year to just have one like with eyeshadow primers if i find one that does the job i don't really need more than one and the next one is pretty good so my goal is one still have one Moving down to eyeshadow singles then, I started off the year on 24 and I wanted to get that number down to 20. I don't really use eyeshadow singles, I'm much more of a palette person, even though I don't really have many eyeshadow palettes. I find that I don't reach for my singles that often. Now I have worked through all of my eyeshadow singles this year and at my last check-in I was down to 23, I did declutter one. And I'm now down to 20. I decluttered two of my Kiko singles and one of my Makeup Geek singles, I think. So now down to 20, I have met my goal and I'm hoping by the end of the year to be down to 19 because I'm panning my MAC blank type, which is taking ages. Oh my goodness, I didn't know it took this long to pan a nude eyeshadow that you apply all over your lid. <laughs> But yeah, at the end of the year, I'm hoping to be down to 19. But as it stands at the moment, my goal is 20 and I'm at 20. So really pleased that I have met my goal with this one because I feel like foundations and eyeshadow singles are a part of my makeup collection. That's too big for me personally, and I wanted to reduce them. So I have done really well with both of those categories this year. Eyeshadow palettes next. I started off the year on eight and my previous check-in I was at seven. And that was my goal for the year. My goal for the year was seven. I am now down to four. I have decluttered two Revolution ones, one of which was my Diamonds and Pearls one, which I put in my previous mini declutter video. I had a bad reaction to it, made my eyes sting. And I have actually also decided to declutter my Sofa Extra Spice palette also with Revolution. I am uploading a one month one palette video where I talk about why I want to declutter that palette in that video. So check that out. I think that's going up on Tuesday. So watch that one. Now I haven't officially decluttered that in the sense that I haven't put a video up on my channel where I have included that in a declutter. I didn't want to include it in my mini declutter video because I still had a good couple weeks left of using that palette in my one month one palette video. So I wanted to keep with it and see if I would change my mind I haven't but I don't know when my next declutter video is going to be I don't have loads of makeup now so I'm not really sure if I'm going to have a, a declutter video coming up anytime soon but I have moved it out of my actual makeup collection where I store my makeup so it's not there for me to go into and I have crossed it off my inventory so personally I have decluttered it but officially in a video for you guys I haven't but I want to get it crossed off my inventory anyway because I'm not going to use it. So yeah, my goal was seven and I am now down to four. One of them isn't really a palette, it's a duo and it's my NARS duo and it is old. But I didn't want to include it in my singles because it's not a single. But then it's also not a palette because there's just two shades. Maybe I should have had a, a duo category separately on my inventory, but I have included it in my palettes. But if we're being you know really technical I have three palettes but I have four because I am including that last one eyeshadow sticks I am down to zero I was down to zero in my previous check-in because I decluttered all three of my Mali ones my goal for the year was zero so I have met that goal but actually next year I do want to try the Vive eyeshadow sticks or the eye ones I think they're called so that number will probably go up next year but for now I'm at my goal Eyeliner pencils, I haven't met my goal yet and I'm not sure whether I am going to this year. I am not an eyeliner person. It's not really a makeup item that I kind of reach for. I do have it on today in my waterline. But yeah, I, I'm much more of a an eyeshadow wearer when it comes to an eyeliner effect rather than a pencil eyeliner. And I started off the year on seven and my goal was to get down to three. I am down to five though. I used up two of my Mali ones but I really don't see myself using up any of the ones I have at the moment. And to be honest, I really like all the ones that I have. I've got two MAC ones and three peaches and cream and they're all lovely. But yeah, I don't see this number shifting anytime soon. Liquid eyeliner, I started off the year on one. My goal for the end of the year is one and I still have one. Mascara started off the year on three and my goal 
goal is to have one. I have met that goal, I only have one at the moment and it's my NARS Climax Extreme Mascara. And I feel like one is a sensible goal for me. I don't ever have more than one mascara open at any one time. I don't like to use multiple ones. I tend to have one, keep that one for three months, use it and then replace it with another one. I might change that goal slightly next year. I might maybe bring it up to two because at least that way I've then got a couple of options or an option for when I use up the one I'm working on at the moment. But for now, I have met that goal. Eyebrow products, my goal is to get down to four. I was at seven at the start of the year. I was at five in my previous check-in and I am still at five. I think I can get down to four. I think I can use up the 24 hour brow setter, but it's taken me a long time to use up the Goof Proof. Both of those products are in my project pan, but the Goof Proof is a really thick eyebrow pencil. So you just end up getting through it a lot slower than you would do a thinner eyebrow pencil. But I feel like the goal of four is manageable. False lashes, started off the year on one and I've been at one in every check-in and my goal is one. I rarely wear false eyelashes. I think the last time I wore them might have been in one of my makeup through the decades video. I just don't wear them. I find them uncomfortable. So that's a, an easy goal to stick with. Lip balms, my goal is four and I'm now at three. I was at four on my previous check-in so I had met my goal in my previous check-in but I've now gone past it. The one I used up was my watermelon lip balm but actually I didn't use it up that was my car lip balm that was the lip balm I kept in my car and I could just apply it when I'm driving if I noticed my lips were feeling a bit dry but I think because I left it in my car and it got exposed to like direct sunlight and then really cold temperatures it kind of went a little bit bad <laughs> so I had to throw that one away so yeah my girl was four and I'm down to three. I have my Vaseline one, my La Roche-Posay Cicaplast, which I will probably start to use a bit more often now that we're getting into the colder, drier temperatures. And also my Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask as well. And I'm happy with all three of those lip balms. Last few categories now, we're nearly there. Lip liners. Now, I started off the year on nine and my goal is to get down to four. In my previous check-in video, I was at seven. I had used up MAC Staunchly Stylish and Collection Pink Heaven. Now, I am up to eight. So I have broken my no buy since my previous check-in and I broke it last week, last weekend. I think I said in my autumnal makeup video where I have my berry eyes and my berry lips, the lipstick that I was wearing was really messy to apply and really difficult. And I found that it would be a lot better to apply that if I had a lip liner to go with it. And all the lip liners I own don't match that shade. So I went shopping last weekend and picked up a lip liner to go with it. It is a Clinique one and it's in the shade Figgy and it goes with that lipstick really well. And I did try it last weekend and it made the process of applying that lipstick so much easier. And although I have broken my no buy, I didn't need to buy a lip liner because I have, you know, seven already. My rationale is that if it means that I wear that lipstick more often and get my use out of that lipstick, then it makes sense. It means that that product isn't then sitting on my makeup counter, getting neglected, not getting used. So I kind of feel like it's a justifiable purchase. So yeah, my goal was to get down to four and I'm now at eight. I am panning a lip liner, but to be honest, once I have used up the lipstick that I'm also panning that goes with that lip liner, I think I'm gonna take that lip liner out of my project pan. So I don't think I'm gonna get down from eight. I'd like to, I'd like to use that lip liner up along with my collection pink lip liner. So if I really put my mind to it, I should be down to six by the end of the year. But yeah, four isn't happening. I'm not gonna be able to half my lip liner collection by the end of the year. Lipsticks, I started off the year on 19 and my goal was to get down to 13 and lipsticks is another category of my makeup collection that is too large for my liking. Now I love a lipstick, it's probably one of my favourite makeup items to apply and to own but I've discovered this year that I have four or five reds, I've got probably the similar number of like berry pinky mauve lipsticks and I feel like I don't need multiple products of the same colour. So my goal was to get down to 13. I was at 16 in my previous check-in and I am now at 15. I used up my Soph Syrup lipstick in my project pan. 
Now I am very, very, very close to using up Soph Cake lipstick. So I will be down to 14 very soon, definitely by the end of this month. And then I am going to replace that with another lipstick in my project pan. So fingers crossed, I will be down to 13 by the end of the year. So I've not met my goal yet, but I should do. Last two categories, the first one is lip gloss. I started off the year on two. I then went down to one, then I had none, and then I'm up to one. And one is my goal for the end of this year. And that is definitely doable. If I use up the lip gloss I have at the moment, I will replace it with another one. I've got it on now. It is probably fading a little bit with all the talking I'm doing. And it is my Vive Lip Dew. And I have really come to like a lip gloss this year. Never thought I would say that. I was always much more of a lipstick person, but I really quite enjoy wearing a lip gloss. So I think I'm gonna increase this number next year. But yeah, my goal is one and I'm at one at the moment. So that is fine. And then last category is setting spray. Like with eyeshadow primers, I personally don't feel the need to have more than one setting spray. So I started off the year on one and my goal is to still have one and I've had one throughout these check-ins. The one I have at the moment is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So yeah, this one won't be a problem. I have met that goal. So if I look at all of my categories then, I have met my goal for most of them. The ones that I haven't met my goal for are bronzer. My goal is to get down to one and I've got two. This isn't gonna change. I like having a cream and a powder one. So that one will stay at two. The next one is highlighter. My goal is one and I've again got two and I should be able to meet this goal by the end of this year. So in my next check-in, I will do. The next one is eyeshadow primers. And again, I'm hoping to meet that goal by the end of the year. The goal is one, I've got two. Next one is eyeliner pencils. My goal is three and I've got five. Don't think that one's gonna happen though. Eyebrows, my goal is four and I'm at five. Hopefully I should meet that one in my next one. Lip liners, goal is four and I've got eight. That goal isn't gonna be met. And then lipsticks, goal is 13 and I've got 15. Very nearly got 14. So fingers crossed, I should be able to meet that goal by the end of the year as well. So yeah, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven categories where I haven't met my goal, but the rest I have. So I am doing really, really well. Really am pleased with my progress throughout all of these categories. And I'm excited to see how my makeup collection is going to look at the next check-in as well. And if I can hit target on these remaining categories, bar, lip liner and eyeliner. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you found it interesting. Like I say, I love me a makeup inventory video. So if you have one yourself, please let me know so I can watch it and be nosy. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon in my next one. Bye.